In this video, we will discuss how to write the second type of advantages and disadvantages essays. As I've said in a previous video, there are three types of advantages and disadvantages essay questions. These three types have different formats that you should follow to answer the question. Type two needs to show whether the advantages outweigh the disadvantages. In this type of essay, you will want to show strongly which side you believe has more, the advantages or the disadvantages. Let's take this sample question and try writing an essay for this type of question. These days, people are using the internet for shopping, work, and to communicate with others without the need for face-to-face -face meetings. Do the advantages of this development outweigh its disadvantages. As always, the first thing to do is to brainstorm for some ideas. Perhaps you come up with these ideas for the advantages of using the internet for these things. It's convenient, it saves time, and you have global access. You then think of some disadvantages. There could be scams, it can be impersonal, and there is less social interaction. Now you need to decide if the advantages outweigh the disadvantages. If you decide that the advantages outweigh the or are more than the disadvantages, then you would use this format. You should talk about the advantages but also list that there are some disadvantages, but you believe that the advantages are stronger or outweigh the disadvantages. So your first paragraph about the advantages will be your strongest paragraph, but in your second paragraph you will also acknowledge or show that there are some disadvantages. If you decide that the disadvantages outweigh the advantages, then you could still use this format, but you will first mention that there may be some advantages to this situation and then follow with your stronger argument that there are more disadvantages than advantages. Now you could also start with the disadvantages and talk strongly about how important these issues are and then follow with a few advantages that you have decided about in the second paragraph. For this example essay, let's decide that you believe the advantages outweigh the disadvantages. So we will use this format to write the essay. We now need to write our introduction with our thesis statement. The internet has greatly changed the way we live today. Many people use the internet to shop, work, and communicate. The convenience, time-saving factors, as well as global access definitely outweigh the few disadvantages that may exist. Now this introduction paragraph shows clearly that you believe the advantages outweigh the disadvantages. When writing your introduction you want to start with a general statement followed by some more explanation about your topic, and then finally your thesis statement. Now we need to write our body paragraph about the advantages. We will follow the outline that we made with our three ideas. Using the internet has made many things very convenient. Most areas have high-speed internet access, allowing for multiple things to be done through the internet. Now this is showing that it is convenient and then you might give an example. For example, being able to use the internet has changed how people shop as well as how and where they can work. It can also make it possible for people to live in rural areas, saving them time from commuting. This connects the idea of the internet being convenient as well as saving time. Shopping online also saves time since it can eliminate trips to the store. 
Equally important, the internet can enable global commerce in addition to the ability to have global meetings without being in person, saving travel costs and time. Now we've written, now written all, about all three of our ideas that we believe are advantages of using the internet for these things. Using transition words such as, for example, and equally important can help to make your paragraph flow more smoothly. Now we need to write about the disadvantages. We might start our paragraph like this. On the other hand, it is true that the internet does create some disadvantages. And then we'll begin writing about our first idea, scams. Scams can occur more easily, causing problems to individuals as well as companies. Criminals can easily hide their identity by using official looking websites. In addition, although it may be convenient, Shopping and working online can be impersonal because there is less interaction between people when only the internet is utilized. This may also lead to less social interaction, which can bring about other social issues. Again, try using some transition words such as on the other hand or in addition to connect your ideas. Now we need to write our conclusion paragraph. We might write something like this. In conclusion, although there are definitely some disadvantages to using the internet, the advantages far outweigh the disadvantages. The convenience of using the internet for shopping as well as work and communication have allowed for increased productivity. The time saved by utilizing the internet is undisputed. And last but not least, the internet has connected people and businesses around the world for a more efficient global experience. We can also use transition words in our conclusion paragraph. Here we use the words in conclusion, but we can also use words such as in summary, as can be seen, as well as other words. And here is our final essay that we've now written step by step. This sample essay has over 300 words. By adding or subtracting sentences from your essay, you can make it shorter or longer as you need. Here are a few expressions that would be useful for you to use when you're writing advantages and disadvantages essays. Try using some of these in an essay that you write. Now that you know how to write this type of advantages and disadvantages essay, here's a question that you can use to practice writing this type of essay. Many people are beginning to work from home. Do the advantages of this trend outweigh the disadvantages? Follow the same procedure as in this video to help write an essay about this topic. If you're interested, I have a special workbook that you can use to practice writing these essays. I've included the link in the description below. I hope you found this video helpful. Happy writing!